is going on, guys? What is going on with our cereal? What are they putting in our kids' cereal? Coming straight up, I'm going to tell you the facts. What they're putting in our kids' cereal that you really need to know. Coming right up. guys thank you for coming back i'm gonna calm down i'm gonna calm down i got such a good topic today i want to talk about but first of all if you're first time please consider subscribing and if you're coming back thank you for coming back okay but i'm so jazzed about this uh trisodium phosphate that i want to share with you so you look at this cereal here and you see uh these three new unicorns and this lucky charm looking so great and get kids attention but it doesn't tell you or right on the label that it can contains trisodium phosphate which is really a bad ingredient um, and this right here you have the blueberries uh, looking all healthy looking and stuff um, so same thing you will get sidetracked and then don't think about looking at the ingredients so let me just tell you what the ingredients in this uh, these cereals um, it's a white crystalline solid high soluble in water it's a TSP that's what trisis tri Sodium phosphate is really short for TSP and is used as a cleaning agent, a builder, a lubricant, food additive, stain remover, and a degreaser. So that's not on the box. If they would put that on the box, then you wouldn't buy it. I'm pretty sure you wouldn't buy it. TSP, sodium triphosphate, is an additive that paint, a painters use to clean and, and paint surfaces in your home before painting. Um, it's mixed with warm water. It is used often in uh, commercial laundry soap as well as an ingredient in some foods. So now how can this be an ingredient in your food and they say that it's safe? Okay, so let's read on here. Let me tell you some more. Uh, while consuming a small amount of trisodium phosphate, they say it's safe. Eating foods with uh, phosphate, trisodium, trisodium phosphate additive on a daily basis cook could harm your health. High level of trisodium phosphate has been linked to kidney disease, intestines, inflammation, decreased bone density, heart conditions, and even uh, premature death. Okay, so this is really bad thing, guys. I want you to start looking for it. Now, kids, kids eat cereal every day, but they say in small amount, so, you know, you eat it every day. Most of the kids eat it before break, I mean, before school and things. So let's see what else trisodium phosphate is in. Um, food additives, food additives found in many foods, processed items like cereal, cheese, soda, and baking goods. It's also in lunch meat. It's also in bacon, sausage, um, sausage, I mean, in some breakfast cereals, in some breakfast cereals, guys, um, breakfast bars, uh, cake mixes and some canned tunas that this could be fine in so they say it like this is some good stuff guys you know if you would see this in the store if they had a big label on here said this contains trisodium phosphate first thing you would do you would go research it and that's what I want you guys to do right now research it see what you think and leave comments below and let me know what you think I think this is very disturbing because it's also said intestine inflammation, decreased bone density, heart uh, condition, and even premature death. I think that's is pretty, pretty sad that they put this in our food today. Okay, so please leave your comments below and let me know what you think about this or if you came across this type of uh, cereal. But um, I do have another video coming up right after this too that's going to show you that I'm walking in the store and tell you some good things about bad cereals and good cereals that's in there, okay? That's trisodium phosphate. So thank you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Okay, life is trisodium phosphate free. And then we have Apple Jacks is trisodium phosphate free. They don't have that trisodium phosphate in it. So those may be okay to give your kids. Oreos does not have trisodium phosphate in it. This may be okay to also give to your children. It's free, trisodium phosphate free. See, Honey Nut Cheerios definitely has trisodium phosphate in it. On the back, 
I don't know if you can see it, but definitely trisodium phosphate. And these are called drumsticks, and it has trisodium phosphate. Wait, like, trisodium phosphate. Okay, and um, here it has. I don't know what those things are. The mint chocolate. It's supposed to be like mint chocolate. So definitely stay away from those. Frosted mini wheats. Nope. I don't think they have trisodium phosphate. There's nothing about that on here. There is no trisodium phosphate in this one. Frosted mini wheats. Good to eat these. It's free of that bad chemical. So you want to make sure, all of these cereals here, you want to make sure you look on the back. There are so many uh, in here, but just look on the back and make sure that it doesn't have that trisodium phosphate, that bad ingredients that um, in the cereal that can hurt your kid's stomach. Um, so just wanted to, to let you guys see. But anyway, just, just make sure you always look at the ingredients. Make sure you always look at the ingredients on the back of the cereal. And, you know, that way keep your, your uh, children safe. And these are Gashi uh, cereal here, non-GMO. And can't even see. Can it try sodium? Look in here, come here for a second. Is it in trisodium in there? I doubt it. Not in healthy cereal. Trisodium? There is no trisodium on this one. So, I know they're a little bit more expensive, but not too much. Look at two fifty-three. Not too much expensive, but the boxes are a lot smaller. But you may want to try to, just try to eat more healthier. And this one does not have trisodium phosphate in it. So there you go. So if you guys got some good valuable information out of this stuff, and just make sure that you look at the ingredients, okay? Thanks so much. Peace out. Okay, I'm looking at this one here. It's uh, the Light Country Crop. And uh, I didn't see trisodium phosphate in this one. Turn it over. I didn't see such trisodium phosphate in this one at all. So... This is a better alternative to get this one if you just want uh, country crock butter. Um, it does have soy in it, so the ones that who don't like soy, um, then yeah, this one may not be good for you. But it is uh, country crock light. Okay, that may be a choice instead of that other one. Just going off the grid here a little bit, different topic. Um, this right here is country crock calcium and turn it over. This one has uh, trisodium phosphate in it as well. Trisodium, trisodium phosphate. Yeah, got it. So I did a video on this one time before when the butter wouldn't melt. So if you go back to my uh, channel, you will see um, this type calcium country crop butter. Um, so go to my channel and you'll see that. But I um, just want to let you know that it's in a lot of stuff. Um, so definitely not get that one, which is 342. The other one is light, it's 342 as well. So just make sure you look at everything that you buy. Just make sure it doesn't have this type of ingredient in it because it is harmful to the body. Okay, so thank you. And just for another better alternative, they have Country Crop Original. If you like Country Crop and uh, want something, you know, you have this taste and you love it, so just try that country crop arrangement, you know. It does not have that trisodium phosphate in it, guys, okay? Just want to let you know. Okay. So what I think about this cereal is like, lucky, the luck has no ran out, and you can charm your... And this one, too.